Turn to the left. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, what the f*** is that? Okay. Hey. He's cool. Don't do nothing I wouldn't do. Anyway, <laughs> high five one more time. I missed. It's dark. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is very dark. Uh, stairway to hell. Ugh. That's tempting. Can I go? I hit myself in the head with the... <laughs> You all right? The amount of times I've played Rainbow Six and the amount of times I've had teammates do this. I will admit I did this a couple times early on. But again, once you learn that it's better to play as a team than, you know, try and go solo and flank everybody. <clears throat> it depends on how far you're flanking usually. Well, if you flank down a hallway to the right of your team, that's one thing. If you flank on the other complete opposite side of the map, that's not flanking. That's just going off on your own to get killed. <clears throat> now, now you can play as a team if it's just like, okay, us two are going to go up this one. Y'all three can go around to that one. Then yeah. that's a team strat. But if, you know, it's just one person being like, where you, dude, where are you going? Where are you at? It's like, oh, I'm already over here, man. It's like, why are you there? And, dude, I remember this one dude, uh, this was a bit of a, a flanking maneuver on his behalf, but it was because of, uh, B, he was doing it to BM. Uh, basically, uh, we got caught in the crossfire. He came through one door, I came in the other, and we weren't really talking or anything like that. The only thing, the other person I think was in the same lobby as me was you. And uh, you you basically were uh, going you were going up on the roof and you were gonna try and uh, get you know find a way in up there, but we were both going towards the same room. That's what we decided. And this dude comes in on one side, and I fire, and then he walks in front of me and I kill him. And I'm like, oh, dude, I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that, I'm sorry. And all of a sudden we start the next round. And I spawn over on the side we normally do, and he spawns on the other side. And I'm thinking, okay, I, like I, I, yeah. But and all of a sudden, I'm climbing up. I'm rappelling up the side of this building. He shoots you. And he shoots me in the back. And he's like, oh god, I'm sorry. It was an accident. I'm like, wow. I'm like, wow, dude. That like, yeah, it's like get salty sometimes. I'm like, I'm like, are you gonna like? Are you, you want some? You want some chips with that salt, dude? I mean, you want... And then all of a sudden, you he... Need some, uh, you need some pepper to balance some it out? ass cream for your butt hurt. <clears throat> but anyway, the funniest thing was, he basically was just going off and off, and I was like, you know what, I don't have time for this, and I muted him. And uh, all of a sudden, I'm, I go through, and it's the last round. I go in, and I 3v1 the enemy team, and I kill all three of them, and... I can't hear him, but our other teammate is just like it. Apparently, the dude that I muted is going off, just like saying, "Oh fuck you, dude! Fuck you! You're so lucky, dude!" So, and then all of a sudden, I hear our teammate go, "Oh, dude, will you shut up? He three v one them, <laughs> dude! Oh my god, fuck this! I'm muting him too." <laughs> Overwatch always irked me because it felt like they had specific <clears throat> characters that were actually made to just not play with the team. And it's like, it's such a team-focused game, but yet there's players that are just made to go off on their own, like Sombra and Reaper and Tracer. Well, again, you have the saboteurs and, like, the, the like, uh... Anytime I had those, like, on my team, like, it was annoying because it felt like our team was, like, down a person the entire time. Anytime I had them on the other team, it was annoying as shit because they'd show up out of nowhere, like, you know, and get people on the back whenever... You were trying to concentrate on actually playing the game. Mm hmm So, it was just, yeah. Well, again, everyone... I know that's part the, of that game, but it's just a part of it I don't really like. Well, everyone has the uh, thing where they're just like, oh, I can I can solo. I can solo run. I get up. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, sure thing. Okay. And then they go off and they get killed, and it's just like, hey, how'd that solo run go? I also love the, like, where's my hills from, like, the ones that were in the fucking enemy back line. <laughs> it's, yeah, like, it's like, over here with the team, dumb it's shit. Like, it's like, <laughs> uh, do you see, do you, okay, we have a Mercy. How the fuck is she supposed to heal you all the way over there? Yep. What are you doing? Ugh. 
It's like your kid is built to get the fuck out when you need hills and get back to the team. So you're exactly. supposed to come back to the team if you want hills. <laughs> exactly. Jesus. Anyway, we have here, when you decide to flank instead of play as a team by Caleb City, let's check out and see what happens. First off, I'm an individual, so I won't be going to A or B. I have the perfect plan. While the opposite team is completely oh, yeah, occupied right. fighting my teammates, they're all I'm gonna sneak the behind them and away. I'm gonna play the long game, waiting for the perfect moment. And when that hey, 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 I'll eliminate everybody on my other team barrel, and look practice oh, to the whole lobby. Sounds to me like your team's already getting fucked up. Insta death. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> alt F4. <laughs> you didn't want to hear him. He just alt f would out. Yep. Oh my god. I'm oh. gonna clutch up, guys. And yeah, nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nah. <laughs> Jesus god. You've done this to yourself. <laughs> yes. All of a sudden, he's not listening to his teammates or call outs or anything. He's just like, I have the perfect plan. I'm gonna rush in. I have the, I'm going to find out the perfect angle, wait for the perfect moment, and then all of a sudden reality, you know, snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. It's like, oh, shit. Oh, boy. Wait, what? Where is everybody? We're dead, bro. Mm, God. It, it always irks me in team games, too. It'd be like, all right, so we got this good plan. All right, you guys on this half of the team, you're going to go this way, and us on this half of the team going to go this way. We're going to do this in synchronization and we're going to, you know, pull this off. Pow, 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 pow. Why the fuck are three of you now dead? Like, yeah. It's like, what the fuck happened? Why did you die? Well, there was a... Oh God. I, okay. There was a point where we were trying to come up with a strat like that. I think it was me and Jake and a few others who were playing. And then all of a sudden we look over like, where's the fifth? Got it. They are drinking. And, and then all, well, no, we, all of a sudden, we just hear gunshots in the distance, and we see the kill feed, and he's dead. I'm like, okay, so what's the strategy? And then, again, just. It's pretty crazy to me that the best teamwork I've ever had was with ten fucking people. Well, nine people, technically, plus myself. Yeah. Counting myself, you know, on World of Warcraft. It's like, and then I get wow. in a game with five people, and I can't get five people on the same page to save my life. <laughs> Well, again, there's a lot of people in Rainbow Six Siege who play for the memes. And then... <clears throat> God. Can you believe that Ubisoft thought it would be a good idea for Rainbow Six Extraction? And... Apparently there's people that like it. I don't know. <clears throat> well, all I know is that their player base is... Well, you can have an X amount of people who like it, but if your player base does not meet the demand for you to keep making that content, they're not going to make any more. Not to mention they fucking split their player base off of their most successful multiplayer game, which is Siege. Oh my gosh. Dude, they're letting it go for 39 bucks. That's how bad. Two stars. Oh. I mean, th from what I hear about it, 39 bucks is about what it's actually worth. It's not really a $60 game. Yeah, I remember Badger talking about it. He's like, okay, guys, so what we're going to do is, you see this Rainbow Six Extraction? Yeah, we're going to do none of that shit. <laughs> Halo Reach. Yeah. Uh, again, I just can't believe that Ubisoft thought that was a good idea. Like, how about you keep the strats that, keep the stuff that you all had but do procedurally generated 
houses and stuff like that. Why why would you not do that for like the next one? Well, there's a game that's trying to do that and it's not really picking up a fan base very fast. It's well, like early access, it's called due process. But again, me and Bone played a little bit of it and dude, the community on that game so far though, the people who do play it were fucking awesome. Like Imagine it was like Rainbow we Six went in and like people actually like had a plan and stuff, you know, like we would well, look at the map together and be like, all right, so I think we should try doing this and this, you know, and like people would like take leaders positions and stuff and people listened to the plan and went with the plan and like we went in and it was fucking tactical and like it was very enjoyable actually. Yeah. And imagine if they did that in Rainbow Six, uh, right. in Rainbow Six. Yeah. It's never going to happen with a game that has a large community though, because you get too many fucking... You know, <laughs> basically trolls and just children and people who aren't taking it anywhere near seriously enough to actually have fun with it. And like a lot of people tell me, it's like, oh, you can't take it too seriously or you won't have fun. And I'm just like, dude, I don't have fun if people don't take it at least a little seriously. A l- little bit. A little bit of seriousness goes a long way. It's like way. we don't have to be like, yeah, we're going to be pro gamers or anything like that. But it's like, yeah, it, losing over and over and over again is not fun. I'm sorry. No. You can call me a sore loser if you want to. Well, but it's just again, learning and helping each other grow as players and coming together as a team feels good, especially when victories are achieved. Okay, and I will say, losing over and over and over again is fun sometimes when you're learning a lesson each time. If you can pinpoint, all right, we lost this time because this happened. We lost this time because this happened. Cool. Now we'll know that. We're mm-hmm. getting better. I feel us getting better. We're going to win eventually now. I feel us getting better, you know. But losing over and over and over again and being like, okay, here's the problem I've pinpointed. And then losing again because of the same thing. And then losing again because of the same thing. And nobody ever makes an effort to correct the problem. That irks the shit out of me. And that's yeah. why I can't do team games because that's what happens 99% of the time that I play team games. Well, that goes, I guess. But anyway, this was Caleb City. We hope that you all enjoyed. And if you want to see more from Caleb City, feel free to click his name. And until next time, Nate. I am Nick. See you later, everybody. Peace.